Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing examples using Spring Boot and Azure. So in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing various examples like deploying Spring Boot application as an Azure web app, also accessing various Azure resources like Key Vault, Block Storage, Event Hub from Spring Boot application. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to retrieve secrets from Azure Key Vault. So we'll be looking at the basics of Azure Key Vault, creating and configuring it and retrieving the secrets using a Spring Boot application. This I'll be taking reference of my website javainews.com. So go to Spring Boot Azure. The example that we'll be looking at today is Spring Boot Azure Key Vault Hello World example. Today's world of modern software development, security is of paramount importance for any organization. Managing and securing sensitive information such as API keys, database connection strings and cryptographic keys is of critical concern. For managing and securing sensitive information, the most simplest approach is to store these secrets directly in code or configuration file. However, this approach poses a significant security risk. Anyone who accesses this code also gets access to the secrets that is stored directly in the code or in the configuration file. One of the solution to this problem is to store the secret in encrypted format so that even if anyone gets access to the code, they cannot know what the actual secret is. However, even this approach, it has some drawbacks. So microservices architecture, it is the most common architecture that is used nowadays. In microservices, we have hundreds or thousands of services that make use of some secret. Now suppose if you want to rotate the secret key, then we'll have to go to each service and then make the change to that secret. So this will involve a lot of work. The solution to this problem is to store the secrets at some common file location using Spring Cloud Config native server or Spring Cloud Config Git server. However, this approach will then need a lot of work as we will need to manage the whole authorization and authentication of the various services trying to access the secrets at the common file location. This is where Azure Key Vault it comes into picture. So Azure Key Vault it offers a robust and secure solution for protecting and managing our application secrets. It provides a centralized management of the application secrets. Also, Azure Key Vault, it provides granular access control and auditing capabilities, allowing us to define precise permissions for who can access and manage our secrets. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a Spring Boot application which will connect with the Azure Key Vault and retrieve secrets stored in it. So let us begin with the implementation part. So this is what we are going to implement. So first in Azure, we'll be creating a Key Vault and inside this Key Vault, we'll be storing a secret. Now a Spring Boot application, it cannot directly access this Azure Key Vault. For this, what we need to do is, we'll need to create a registered app in Microsoft Enter ID. So Microsoft Enter ID, it is a new name for Microsoft Active Directory. So this registered app, it has its own app ID secret and a tenant id also once this registered app is created we will be giving it a key vault secrets user role for this azure key vault so now if the spring boot application it needs to access this azure key vault the spring boot application will first make a call to the microsoft enter id with this app id secret and tenant id it then returns back an access token spring boot application can now make use of this access token to connect to the azure key vault and retrieve secrets from it so let us begin with the implementation first we'll be creating an azure key vault so for this go to azure portal here go to key vaults if you cannot see the symbol here search it here so here go to key vaults and we'll be creating a new key vault so select a resource group name i will be giving it as java news review and create click on create so this will create the key vault for us here the key vault deployment is complete click on go to resource so here a key vault named java news it has been created for us next inside this key vault we'll be creating a secret so click on generate Give the name for the secret. I'll be giving it as secret only. Give some value for the secret. Click on create. So when we are trying to create the secret value, it is not allowing us. So here we get an exception or error. So here we get the error message that the operation it is not allowed by RBAC. So we'll need to assign some roles for this particular user so that he'll be able to create uh, secrets inside this key vault. So again, go back to the key vault and here go to access control. Click on add add role assignment so in order to be able to create secret inside this key vault we'll need to give a key vault admin role to the user so your key vault administrator click on next select members so here i'll be selecting it the user review and assign so a key vault admin role it has been assigned to this user now if you go back to secrets generate i'll be giving again the name as secret enter some value here click on create so now we are able to successfully create this secret. So now that we have created the Azure Key Vault, next we'll be creating the registered app in Microsoft Enter ID. So go to the Azure portal again. In this time, go to Microsoft Enter ID. Here go to App Registrations, New Registration. I'll be giving the name of this app as Java News App. Click on register. So this has created a new app registration for us and the name of this is Java News app. So this is the client ID that we'll be needing and also the tenant ID. So note these down. The app ID, this is the tenant ID and also we will be needing secret. 
So for this, go to certificates and secrets. Create a new client secret. I'll be giving the name as client secret. Click on add. So copy the secret value. It will be shown to us only once. So copy this and keep it here. So here we have the client ID, the tenant ID and the client secret. Now we have created a registered app for which we have the app ID secret and the tenant ID. Next for this registered app, we'll be giving the keyword secret user role for this Azure keyword that we have created. So go back to the portal, go to the keyword, access control, add, add role. So this time we'll be giving the keyword secret user role. So here keyword secrets user, click on next, select members and the name of the app we have given it as java news app so select this review and assign so now this role will be assigned to the registered app finally we'll be creating the spring boot application which makes use of the app id secret and tenant id of the registered app to get the access token and once it gets the access token using it it can fetch the secret from the azure key vault we'll be making use of the spring initializer website to create a spring boot project for us so here i'll be using 3.2.6 Group I'll be giving it as Java News. Demo give it as Boot Key Vault. Add a dependency. So first I'll be adding the web dependency, Spring Boot web dependency. So currently this is the only dependency that we'll be adding using Spring Initializer. Click on Generate. So this will download the Maven project for us. So here I've imported the downloaded Maven project. Click on pom.xml, run as Maven install. So this will download the Maven dependencies that we have specified in the pom.xml. Currently in the pom.xml we have only specified the Spring Boot Startup Web Dependency. So this will download it for us. So here the build is successful. Next in the pom.xml we'll be adding two more dependencies. So the first is Azure Security Key Vault Secrets. Using this dependency we can securely retrieve the secrets from the Azure Key Vault and the other is the Azure Identity Dependency. So this enables the authentication and authorization mechanisms for connecting with the Azure Key Vault. So copy these both. In the pom.xml add them and again build this project and as moment install finally in the spring boot application we'll be creating a controller named azure controller and in this controller we'll be exposing a get endpoint with the url get secret in the get mapping method named hello we'll first be specifying the key vault url so if we go back to the azure portal to the key vault here we have the vault uri so this is the key vault url that we'll be specifying so this is what is specified here next if we go to the secrets so we have created a secret named secret so this is what we have specified here so secret name is secret and here this is the fetch secret so this is the secret value that we'll be fetching next using the secret client builder which is provided to us by the azure key vault client library we'll be creating an instance of the secret client to this secret client builder we'll need to provide the key vault url also in credentials we'll be creating a new instance of the default azure credential builder what this default azure credential builder does is that it fetches the client id client secret and tenant id from the environment variables so if you remember previously for the registered app we had got the client id the tenant id and the client secret so all these three values we have stored it as environment variables so here in the environment variable we have stored these three values so default azure credential builder automatically selects these values and then it calls the azure entra id using these three values and gets the access token this access token is then used by the secret client to access the azure key vault and fetch the secret so once the secret is fetched we'll just be returning its value back to the user so let us create this controller class in eclipse create a new class package will be java news boot key vault dot controller copy the contents of this class so we are done with all the code changes let us now start the spring boot application so i'll be starting the spring boot application in debug mode and also here I'll be adding some debug points. So here the application it has started successfully on port 8080. Let us now go to localhost 8080 slash get secret. So here we are inside the controller class. Now the default Azure credential builder, it will try to get the environment variables. So if you run this, here we are getting the environment credentials. So it is, once it gets these credentials, it makes use of the client secret credential to connect to key vault. So now we have successfully built the secret client. It will now get the access token so here it has fetched the token so now it gets the secret value here so here if we go to fetch secret so this is the fetch secret value java in use is great so this will be returned back if you go to the browser the fetch secret value java in use is great is written so our spring boot key vault application it is working properly hope you have understood this tutorial you can download the source code from here thank you